Alright, so I got my little rant out before this video. I got my little rant out, pretty much. I, I, okay, I just went over the main stuff in my rant. I'm not gonna upload it. I just deleted the video, because I just need to get it out so I could just... Like, literally the video was gonna start out with me fucking ranting about the state of Star Wars again. I might actually do that, just name it that, because, I mean, that's kind of what it was. But pretty much I just went into how, yes, Raise Mary Sue, all that crazy shit with Star Wars. I'm a Star Wars fan, okay? I'm getting tired of fucking politics coming into my entertainment. I'm getting shit fucking sick and tired of this shit, okay? First it's Star Wars. Then they pull in Marvel with a uh, fucking Captain Marvel with all that bullshit. And now they're doing it with Dragon Ball with the fucking... Uh, what's his name? Vic Mignogna. I'm sick and fucking tired of politics getting involved in my fucking entertainment. Can I go on the internet for five fucking minutes without hearing something about fucking politics in my entertainment? Okay, now that I got that out of the way, this trailer looks good. If you agree, if you agree with me, good. If you disagree with me, good. I don't give a shit if you agree with me or disagree with me. I really don't give a shit. I'm tired of the toxicity from this fucking internet, dude. Like, I'm sick and fucking tired of coming on here when I talk to my friends, when I'm on the internet. I hear something negative. Like, can we say something positive about Star Wars? How it brings people together? How it fucking does? I know I'm going on a fucking rant here. I think this trailer looks fucking A-OK. -okay. You know what? I'm just gonna say it. Most people probably don't agree with me. People are done with Star Wars, but I've been a hardcore Star Wars fan since I was five years old. I'm sticking with the series, and hopefully it remains good. No, I do not think that Episode Nine will be the finale every Star Wars fan will want. I will say, just like me, Every Star Wars fan will be disappointed with the finale that Episode 9 has. Yes, they're showing some cool shots, but I don't think it's going to wrap up the, the trilogies, all of them, because they're building it up to be the finale for Episode 1 through 9. I don't, I don't see them doing it. I, I really don't see them doing it. Unless they make this the longest movie ever and they jam-pack everything in there everything it's not gonna work it's gonna be a shitty finale they're probably gonna make this movie really short too but i digress for the point uh also the poster for this movie looks fucking dope I'm, i know i'm digressing again but sh ooh, that thing that's probably the best looking poster for a star wars movie i know i know i'm not in agreement with palpatine coming back but i do like that poster but, I digress again, uh, I want to just talk about Dark Ray for a second. This is on everyone's mind, this is what's buzzing around the Star Wars community. It'll die down in a few days once everyone gets their opinions out. Because there's not really much to talk about other than, uh, there's a lot of good theories I've been hearing about Dark Ray. I heard one where she like turns to the dark side to figure out how to bring Kylo back to the light. I don't see that happening. I just don't. It's a hell of a good theory. I like that theory, but I don't see it happening. If you know anything about the EU, I feel like she's going to the dark side to kill Palpatine. That's the only reason she would be going to the dark side. I just don't see her being evil. She's not an, a malice character. But that's my theory on it. I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.